So, I was thinking about something as I was putting away my laptop, um, the concept of being shy and um, protecting your heart, but not being shy. So, you know, it's, it's okay to think about, to think about uh, having reservations with your speech, but having a shy heart is something that's going to um, maybe, maybe you're shy because someone hurt you, you were abused, or, um, the enemy has convinced you to be wounded in an area, and you don't need to be, to be shy. Um, I struggled with shyness a lot as a kid, so, um, and you can get attacks from the enemy, like, I have an eye that doesn't turn left, and people would call me Turota which I was told meant village idiot. I remember like everything when I was a kid that God has me flashback to like dreams even, whatever. Um, but you know, and then that can make you unhealthy if you take that in and you're like, I'm this. And it's just like, you're, you're going to hurt yourself. Um, if you don't know how to say, Hey, you know, that's mean. Um, you know, I'm not an idiot just because, you know, God allowed me to have this infirmity of my eye, which, you know, God will take away at the rapture. Um, but, you know, I wasn't saved. And so, you know, it's just, um, I became a believer at 25. And, um, but still overcoming shyness is, is something that everybody needs to do. It doesn't mean to be like outlandish and over the top with being loud. Some people are like, I'm not shy, I'm loud. And we all can go through that, like break through, trying to break through shyness and you're just like, blah, like, okay, you know, that's, there's a balance of, you know, not being cruel and not being shy. And that's something to consider not to hurt your own heart and not to hurt the hearts of others. So I'm going to get in call and I will end it now and I'm just going to end with don't be, don't be shy, be you.